Nature Nature is the physical cosmos or world in its broadest sense. The term nature can be used to describe both universal life and the phenomena of the physical world. A significant, if not the only, component of science is the study of nature. Despite the fact that humans are a part of nature, human activity is frequently thought of as a distinct category from other natural occurrences. The Latin word natura, which means fundamental attributes, natural tendency, is the source of the word nature, which is derived from Old French nature and originally meant birth. Natura is primarily employed in ancient philosophy as the Latin equivalent of the Greek word physis, which originally referred to the inherent ability of plants, animals, and other parts of the world to evolve on their own. One of several extensions of the original idea is the idea of nature as a whole, or the physical universe. It started with a few core definitions of the word nature used by pre-Socratic philosophers, though the word had a dynamic dimension at the time, especially for Heraclitus, and it has steadily gained popularity ever since. In the last few centuries, as the modern scientific method has developed, nature has turned into a passive reality that is governed by divine laws. With the advent of the Industrial Revolution, nature was more and more revered by some traditions, Rousseau, American Transcendentalism, while others simply saw it as a mere backdrop for divine providence or human history, Hegel, Marx. However, at the same time, particularly after Charles Darwin, a vitalist view of nature that was more in line with presocratic thought was born again. The word nature is used in many different contexts nowadays, and it frequently alludes to geology and fauna. Nature can apply to a broad range of living organisms, including plants and animals, as well as, in some circumstances, to the processes involving inanimate objects, the ways in which specific kinds of things, including the weather and the Earth's geology, exist and change on their own. It is frequently interpreted to mean the natural environment or wilderness, which includes things like wild animals, rocks, forests, and other natural features that have not been significantly impacted by human activity or that have survived in spite of it. For instance, unless specifically identified as, for example, human nature or the totality of nature, manufactured items and human interaction are often not considered to be a part of nature. This older, still present conception of nature indicates a division between the natural and the artificial, with the latter being viewed as something which has been created by a human consciousness or mind. The distinction between the natural and the unnatural or supernatural may also depend on the circumstances. All living and non-living objects that occur naturally, or in this example, without the use of artificial means, are included in the natural environment or natural world. The phrase is most frequently used with reference to Earth or certain regions of it. The interplay of all living things, the climate, the weather, and the natural resources that have an impact on human existence and economic activity are all included in this ecosystem. The following elements make up the idea of the natural environment. Complete ecological units with all the plants, microbes, soil, rocks, atmosphere, natural phenomena that take place within their bounds, and their nature that operate as natural systems without large civilization human involvement. Universal natural resources and physical phenomena, such as energy, radiation, electric charge, and magnetism that have no defined beginnings or ends, such as air, water, and climate. The built environment stands in contrast to the natural environment. Humans have significantly changed the natural environment into a more streamlined human habitat in built areas, such as metropolitan settings and the conversion of agricultural land. Even less severe actions, like erecting a mud home or installing a solar system in the desert, turn the natural environment into an artificial one. Although many animals construct structures to improve their living conditions, because they are not human, beaver dams and the creations of mound building termites are seen as natural. No place on Earth is completely natural, and naturalness often ranges along a continuum from 100% natural at one end to 0% natural at the other. All natural environments have been profoundly impacted by the huge environmental changes caused by mankind during the Anthropocene, including climate change, biodiversity loss, and pollution from plastic and other pollutants in the air and water. More specifically, we can take a closer look at the many facets or elements of an environment and observe that the level of naturalness varies. 
If the soil structure and mineralogic composition, for example, are similar to those of an undisturbed forest soil, but the structure is significantly different in an agricultural area. Life. According to available data, life has existed on Earth for around 3.7 billion years. Based on these discoveries that all known life forms share essential molecular pathways, theories on the origin of life seek to explain how a primordial single-cell organism, from which all life starts, came to be. Regarding the route that might have been taken from simple organic molecules through precellular life to protocells and metabolism, there are numerous distinct possibilities. Scientists generally concur that the biological manifestation of life is characterized by organization, metabolism, growth, adaptation, reaction to stimuli, and reproduction, despite the fact that there is no universal consensus on what constitutes life. It's also possible to define life as just an organism's distinctive state. Life is the attribute that separates active organisms from inorganic materials and biology, the science of living things. This attribute includes the ability to develop, operate, and undergo continuous change before dying. The biosphere on Earth is home to a wide range of living things, life forms, and among them are plants, animals, fungi, protists, archaea, and bacteria. These life forms all share a carbon and water-based cellular structure as well as complex organization and genetic information. Living things have internal processes like metabolism and homeostasis, as well as the ability to develop, respond to stimuli, reproduce, and, through natural selection, adapt to their surroundings through time. More advanced living things have more ways to communicate. Ecosystems an ecosystem, often known as the environment, is a natural system made up of all living things, plants, animals, and microbes, as well as all inanimate objects, abiotic components, that make up the environment. The idea that living things are always involved in a complex web of interactions with each component of the environment in which they exist is at the heart of the ecosystem concept. Any unit that includes all of the organisms in a given area interacting with the physical environment so that a flow of energy leads to clearly defined trophic structure, biotic diversity, and material cycles, example, exchange of materials between living and non-living parts within the system is an ecosystem, said Eugene Odom, one of the founders of the science of ecology. The breakdown of the nature-slash-human divide and the resulting assumption that all species are ecologically connected with both each other and the abiotic components of their biotope serve as the foundation for the human ecosystem idea. Because there are more species present at a location to respond to change and subsequently absorb or lessen its impacts, an ecosystem with a greater number or variety of species or biological diversity may be more resilient. By doing this, the impact is lessened before the ecosystem structure is fundamentally altered. This is not always the case, and there is no evidence linking a system's capacity to deliver sustainable amounts of goods and services to its species variety. The term ecosystem can refer to any circumstance in which there is an interaction between living organisms and their environment, including human-made environments like human ecosystems and ecosystems that have been modified by humans. Today. There are fewer uninhabited regions on the Earth's surface, yet some true wilderness places are still unaffected by human activity. Lakes A lake is a type of landform, a body of water that is confined to the bottom of a basin, Latin, lacus. When a body of water is inland, apart from the ocean, and bigger and deeper than a pond, it is referred to as a lake. On Earth, natural lakes are typically located in steep terrain, rift zones, and regions that have recently or currently experienced glaciers. Other lakes can be discovered in endorheic basins or alongside established riverbeds. Due to erratic drainage patterns from the previous ice age, there are several lakes in different places of the planet. Over geologic time spans, all lakes are transient because they gradually fill with sediment or overflow of their containment basin. Ponds A pond is a body of still water that is either created naturally or artificially and is often smaller than a lake. 
ponds are a broad category of man-made bodies of water, which includes water gardens intended for ornamental purposes, fish ponds for commercial fish breeding, and solar ponds intended to store thermal energy. Ponds and lakes differ from streams in terms of current velocity. Ponds and lakes have mild wind-driven currents and thermally-driven microcurrents, whereas streams' currents are plainly seen. These characteristics set ponds apart from other aquatic landscape features like tide pools and stream pools.